this painting literally took me the whole summer um, partly because I'm lazy but also partly because I took forever I think in total it took me about 15 hours this drawing itself actually took nearly five hours I think um, which is a long time seeing as I was about to be painting over it Yeah, this drawing took about five hours. Um, I'm not entirely happy with the final product, which um, I think as any artist feels the same way about any drawing that they do. But yeah, I noticed at the end of the drawing that um, Anne Walker's head was like slightly too big and Anne Lister's, um, but it was a bit late to fix anything. So I just went with it and it's fine. I do like how it turned out. You can see in the corner here that I started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine when I started painting it. Um, really, I should have been re-watching Gentleman Jack, but um, I want to give my full attention to the program. But seriously, Gentleman Jack was so good. I was fully obsessed, and I think everyone was. Like, who wouldn't be? It was so good. I actually had seen um, a Tumblr post with an article link a link to an article about this when it was like in its early stages back in 2017 and before it um, had the name Gentleman Jack because I don't they either changed the name or like hadn't decided I can't remember but I had been super excited for it ever since then um because it sounded amazing first of all <laughs> and then when it came out oh my god definitely lived up to every expectation <laughs> it was so good just oh Everything about it was amazing. The costumes were amazing. The acting was incredible. The music was amazing. I don't know. It was just so, so good. You can see here my struggle with trying to get her bow right because it was so hard. Um, I literally... Ugh. It was so annoying. I kind of forgot with watercolour that you kind of have to put a base colour of... And, like, make the paper wet as well um, before you can add the details on top. I've been working a lot with acrylic because of my GCSE art. And so I haven't had the chance to do watercolour for a while. Um, so, also, this is on watercolour paper, which, again, I haven't used for a while. Um, but it made it so much easier. But yeah, I really struggled <laughs> with this bow. Um, getting the colour right, as well as like the little details. And I am so detail orientated, it's so bad. I make things so hard for myself. <laughs> like I literally went into her eye and like did all the tiny creases um, and eyelashes and it was ridiculous. So I'm very much a perfectionist. I kind of gave up and left it to work on the jacket which I then also messed up and made the mistake of um, like going too heavy and not laying down a base colour first um, you can see later I like wipe half of it off but oh well we turn it all right in the end Um, when I was watching it and became obsessed as it was airing, because um, I was watching it week by week as it came out on um, BBC One, because the HBO One obviously aired a lot earlier than 
um, the BBC one did, but I'm glad I waited because I know quite a few people in the UK um, did stream the HBO one, but the BBC one had a few extra scenes that the HBO one cut out, so I'm glad that I um, waited. But yeah, I was watching it week by week and like to fill the Gentleman Jack void in my life from Sunday to Sunday, <laughs> I started watching loads of interviews um, and I watched one where Sally Rainwhite was saying how um, they do the kind of whole breaking the fourth wall thing um, where she looks into the camera and like raises her eyebrows and I'm so gay. Do that to make you kind of like feel like you're in on a secret, which she said is what they felt like when they were reading the decoded diaries, um, which is so cool, I think. And um, you can see on the table <laughs> that I got um, the first edition, well, first edition, first book that was released of her diaries um, back in the 80s. Um, obviously this edition isn't, um, but I got it when I went to Gaze the Word with some of my friends and it was so great. I saw it on the shelf, I wasn't going to buy anything, I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to read it, I need to get it, and I got it, but I haven't actually finished reading it, um, <laughs> because obviously it's like 18th century, so it's, no, 18th, 19th century, 19th century, um, <laughs> but obviously the language is very different to English now, so it's quite hard to read and um, sometimes when I don't like understand what's going on, my attention span kind of just like disappears. <laughs> but it is really good and I do want to get through it because it is really interesting and Anne Lister as a person and all the things that she got up to in her life is so interesting. And that's why I'm so excited that there's a second season, oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Oh, you can see here how much I fiddled with this eyebrow. Anne Walker's hair was so difficult to get right. That's partly why the drawing took me so long, because I was trying to get her curls right, even though I was going to paint on top of it. But I couldn't get the colour right for the eyebrow. I couldn't mix the paint the right colour. I did then realise I needed to add white to, like, mute all the colours, because it was very yellow. <laughs> um, so I did eventually do it, but it took forever so you can see I kind of gave up and started working on the skin, um, which was my favourite part of the painting itself to dr to paint, I think. Um, that and also Anne Lister's um, features was really fun to paint. I also love the costumes in the show. Oh my god. <laughs> like, uh, it was just so good. All the, like flouncy skirts and the big puffy sleeves and then obviously Anne Lister's stark contrast in all her in her all black and her um masculine clothing and hair and oh so good so so good you can really see how I've struggled with the hair here but I eventually get the colour right But again, I gave up on the hair and started doing the details in the dress. Oh, and again, like the costumes. Oh my God, the costumes are just incredible. And the hair, oh my God, the ringlets. Horrible to draw, literally disgusting to draw. Like it's so difficult. I can't draw curly hair to save my life. But it looks incredible on screen. Very difficult to paint though, to draw or to paint. But yeah, Gentleman Jack is just such such an amazing program and if you haven't watched it already first of all why are you watching this video and second of all go and watch it 